Jesus. Um, I would say no doubt lived as a person, but to the extent of what he did, I'm not sure. If he comes walking into where I work, uh, shows me the signs of the, uh, the stigmata and tells me he's the son of uh, God, I might start believing. I don't, don't believe in God, first of all. Um, maybe because I grew up in like an age of science. It is obvious there cannot be a loving God. Cannot be. In 1980, I decided to investigate the historical evidence for Jesus. After 21 months of research, I came to the conclusion that Jesus is the unique Son of God and that Christianity is true. Nearly 20 years later, I began another investigation that really put my faith to the test. Does God exist? Was Jesus really his son? Can we trust what the Bible tells us? How could there be a loving God with so much pain and suffering in the world? Strobel's investigation also drew him back to the historical evidence he had first examined as an atheist. We've got older documentation and earlier eyewitness accounts of Jesus' life than we have for any other religious leader of antiquity. In addition, we have hundreds of years of scholarship that upholds the validity of the Gospels. Unlike anyone else in history, Jesus fulfilled dozens of prophecies, including the location of his birth, key events of his ministry, and the details of his execution. And each of these prophecies was first written in the Hebrew Scriptures centuries before he was born. Jesus also performed miracles, often in front of his enemies and skeptics, that demonstrated his supernatural power over nature, disease, and death. And if all that wasn't enough, he was resurrected from the dead in an historical event that was confirmed by more than 500 witnesses. The way to any truth is often narrow and specific. And because of his sinless life and divine nature, Jesus is the only one qualified to pay the penalty for our sin. He alone can reconcile us to God. And that's why when Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father but through me, we can trust him with confidence and with humble and grateful hearts. God does exist.